My name is AJ, and I am a member of the core research group where we are trying to uncover more details about an infectious disease that uses waterfall as its definitive host. We are currently trying to gain a better insight into the biological system itself and use mathematics to model the biological system. I will explain to you how we go plan to go about doing this. This is our biological concept model. To begin, the parasite enters its first intermediate host. This first intermediate host is generally Bithynia. Inside Bithynia, this parasite transforms many times and comes out as a free swimming form known as Cercaria. The Cercaria find a second intermediate host and insist. The second intermediate host is generally Bithynia, Physa, or a couple other species that can be found in the Mississippi. For our purposes, we will focus mainly on Bithynia and Physa as a second intermediate host. To complete its life cycle, a bird comes along, generally a waterfowl, comes along and eats the snail and takes in these parasites where they transform into their adult forms. The adult forms replicate and lay eggs. These eggs are excreted out the waterfowl via their feces. The adult parasites are ultimately detrimental to the bird's health and causes many deaths. Because many birds use the Mississippi as a travel route during their migrations, this can cause deaths in large numbers of the waterfowl. For the math portion of our research, we'll be using an SIR model, also known as a Susceptible Infected Recovered Model. However, you will notice in our concept map shown here, we do not have a recovered population. This is due to the fact that once a bird or snail is infected, they will remain infected until they die. Also notice that here J1 and S1 represent Bithynia populations and J2, S2 represent Physa populations where J1, the juvenile Bithynia, is developed into adult susceptible Bithynia, and juvenile Pfizer develop into adult susceptible Pfizer. I'll begin walking you through this concept map, starting with the susceptible bird host. When the susceptible bird consumes these infected snails, itself becomes infected. The bird is then either classified as low infected or high infected. Once the parasite is inside the de its definitive host, it begins to lay eggs and these eggs are excreted via the bird's feces, as you may recall from the biological model. The first forms of the parasite develop inside susceptible Bithynia. Bithynia serve as the only first intermediate host for this parasite. Once inside the Bithynia, the parasite begins to amplify and the Bithynia is classified or is called in the amplification stage. Inside the Bithynia, these parasites undergo many transformations and once they reach a certain point in their life cycle, the Bithynia become known as inf infected. The Bithynia then shed these parasites and they can do one of two things. They can infect a susceptible Bithynia or they can infect a susceptible Pfizer. So going back to the susceptible Bithynia, the second form of this parasite infects the Bithynia, and the Bithynia becomes what we refer to as I1 here, infected at the second stage. From there, the parasite insists and is taken in by the bird when the bird feeds on these infected snails, and we are back to where we began. The same holds true for the Physa. When the parasite enters the Physa, 
as the second intermediate host, the FISA become infected and the parasite completes its life cycle when the FISA are consumed by the bird. This starts the process all over again and this is the reason that the parasites continue to reproduce and replicate and remain in the Mississippi Flyway. You'll also note the symbols that are next to these lines here. They just re represent rates. For example, the one minus row here is the rate at which a susceptible bird becomes infected and is called highly infected whereas rho here also represents the rate at which a bird becomes low infected. For the purposes of our experiment this summer we will focus on the difference in rates of alpha 1, the rates at which the Bithynia undergo or become infected as opposed to the rate at which the other species Physa becomes infected with the parasite. We'll be looking to see if there are differences in these rates and which population will be most likely to become infected based on different concentrations between the two snail hosts.